guys, my name is Osai, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today, I have a very exciting video for you guys, right here. This is my video today. We are doing the Elite Force 1911 TAC unboxing. I am super excited for this, and I got this for $103 on Amazon. Um, I've already opened it, so I haven't done the unboxing for you guys, so I'm going to be doing that right now. So let's get into the unboxing. Alright, so right here on the top, we have the Elite Force Manual. This comes in two different languages. It's English, and we have Spanish. And then you have a baby advertisement for Elite Force. The Umarex air guns card and your warranty. Which is also in Spanish and English. But guys, so we also for the mag we get the iron key. It already comes with one. And actually when I bought my extended mag, it also came with an iron key, so I have two iron keys um for this gun. But to the best part the actual gun itself. This gun, is, as soon as you take it out, you realize how heavy it is. Now, I actually have not owned an airsoft CO2 pistol yet, and when I first picked this up, this is super heavy. So, this is what the gun looks like with the mag inside. This is the 14 round magazine. It's a really nice gun. It's a full metal body. It has a beaver tail here. Amber Dexter safety that only seems to work on one side. Now the safety cannot, will not work, um, without the hammer being pulled down. So you have to have the hammer down for the safety to be activated. Um, same with releasing. No, uh, same with releasing the magazine. Normally, you're not allowed to release the magazine without the hammer being down. Now, this beaver tail back here, for those of you who do not know, it's a second safety on the gun. Your hand must be pressing down on the beaver tail in order for you to fire the gun. Without pressing down on the beaver tail, the gun will not fire. Now, I'm going to show you guys what this looks like with all the upgrades on it, so I'll be right back. So here's what it looks like. You got your suppressor on here, then your gun, and then your extended mag. Now, I don't have a flashlight for it yet, but I'll be getting one here in the future. But this thing is humongous. Comparing it to my M4, it's pretty big gun itself with the suppressor on is almost as long as my M4, not including the stock. This thing looks amazing. Now, I'm not going to be doing a shooting test for you guys. Not right now. That'll be coming here later on in the future. But I just wanted to go over the gun with you guys. Um, now the threading on it is 14 millimeter counter counterclockwise or 14 millimeter negative. So you it's lefty tighty righty loosey. It's the other way around. Now, if you buy a suppressor, you're gonna want one where the ends can unscrew, so you can fill it with foam. 
to make it silence. Right now, mine's empty. But, yeah, that's the Elite Force 19 Attack Review. Thank you all for watching, and you guys all have a great night. Like and subscribe.